I was thinking the other day about what would be the most useful hint or advice that I could give to somebody starting university. And I thought to myself, well, when I was 18, what would be the most useful bit of advice I could have been given before I started at university? And I think it's probably related to wider reading because the thing I found the most strange or the most difficult when I started university, and having been a personal tutor for 15 years, the thing that I find that most of my students initially struggle with is wider reading. Um, during a degree you have lectures, but the lectures are really there just to give you an idea of the key theories and key ideas in geography. The idea is then that you go away, read around the subject and develop the knowledge. And one of the first things that we start to try and get you to think about is not getting your information from websites or textbooks, but from journal articles. So journal articles are research articles written by lecturers and professors from universities around the world, summarising their research, validated by other academics and then published in journals. Um, why do we get you to use these rather than textbooks? Well, one of the problems about textbooks is they very rapidly become out of date. What we're trying to do is to teach you geography at the cutting edge, as it is state of the art right now. That's because everybody in the Department of Geography at Royal Holloway is a researcher, leading a researcher, research in her or his field and we're trying to get those ideas across to you, this idea of geography at the cutting edge. And a textbook, someone writing a textbook, it might take them four or five years to get all of the ideas together, all of the reading to produce the textbook. It might take them two or three years to write it, which means automatically, as soon as that textbook's published, it's possibly 10 years out of date. Now, textbooks are fine for key established theories which have been accepted in the field for 20 years, but for new ideas, for new concepts, they're not really that reliable. With journal articles, I can submit an article for um, publication, say now, and it could be published before Christmas. And that means that the turnover is much more rapid and you get much more state-of-the-art, up-to-date ideas. The problem is that we're writing them to get our research ideas across. We're writing them for other scientists, for other academics. We're not writing them deliberately with an undergraduate audience in mind. And that means we might use terminology and jargon, which we assume that the person reading it will understand. And that's quite daunting for an undergraduate because we don't explain these terms. We expect the reader to uh, understand what we mean. And during the first few weeks, we'll get you to read journal articles and I guarantee the majority of you, you'll read it and go, I don't understand that. That doesn't make any sense. That's really difficult to follow. If that's the reaction you have, that's fine. Don't worry, because that's the reaction almost everybody has. What we're trying to train you to do and, and teach you to do is to get the useful information out of those articles, which aren't written for you, written for other people. And over the course of the first year, we'll develop your reading skills reading of journal articles so that you become very, very effective at getting the information you need out. And all of a sudden those journal articles stop being daunting, they start to become accessible and actually you can read very efficiently, very quickly and that allows you to develop a much wider knowledge of the subject than you could ever get just from lectures or textbooks. So when you start, don't worry, the first journal article you're asked to read will be really difficult to follow, it'll be really difficult to understand, but we're there to help you. We're there to help you develop the skills that you need to understand that information and make the most out of the reading um, and the resources that you have accessible to you at a university.